Hey guys, welcome to the haul portion of my estate sale that I went to with my hubby. I had so much fun. It was nice to kind of drive a little ways out of our area and do something just a little bit different. We had to actually drive through Provo Canyon to get there, so it was really nice. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a mess. It's the end of the day and it's been a day. <laughs> just, we go from head colds to stomach bugs and Hopefully it's all done now. So anyway, let's get into the haul of the small amount of items that I ended up picking up and taking with me because as you saw me saying on, on the bottom of the screen through the first part of the video, massively overpriced on a lot of the stuff. Thankfully, I was able to kind of take advantage of the fact that they didn't really know a lot about clothing as far as all of that goes. Usually their um, expertise is in a lot of other areas. And so when it comes to the specific estate sale company, I already go towards the clothing anyway. So anyway, let's get on with the haul because I have kids to get to bed. So anyway, first two items are exactly the same. These are New Balance, new in box shoes. And let's see, it doesn't say like a specific model, but they are a size 11. And I will show you. There they are. Still have the tags. Um, it does have a number on them. 843. Not sure if that means anything. I'm going to check the inside also. It does say a size 11. Um, proudly assembled in the USA. And it has a team number. That's kind of cool. Um, they are the 360 fit fit lock. You can see that down. Oops that down at the bottom and absolutely perfect. Never been worn. This guy bought numerous pieces that were all exactly the same. He had the same REI Trekker shirt, which was in the video. There was like 10 of those. If they sold for a good amount, I would have grabbed them, but they seem to overprice a lot of stuff. So I was being kind of picky on that when I went in. So I have the size 11, I think this one might actually be a 10 and a half. It's the same exact one, it says 843. Nope, this one's an 11 too. So that's great because that means two items, one listing. So that makes me happy. Let's get some clothing. I got a bunch of REI stuff. This is a thicker jacket. There it is. REI and um, it just has a bunch of numbers, doesn't say anything specific. It does say REI, REI elements and it is a size large hooded, just a great outdoor jacket. And just so y'all know, um, some of the items were a little bit more than others. And so I went ahead and added up how many items I got, how much I paid for everything, including the tax and the charges, everything together made it round out to a little over $13 for each piece, which would normally kind of make my stomach turn, but a lot of this stuff will end up getting quite a bit more than that. So I'm not too worried. So next item, is I believe the same exact jacket. He likes having multiples. Same one, also a size large. So that can be one listing, two items. Next one is also REI, thinner jacket, taller also. And then it has the hood on inside the collar right here. There's the zipper so you can undo it. And this one is an extra large. So great. It doesn't even look like it's been worn y'all. The next item I got is a brand that I've never gotten before. It's Marmot, Marmot 
I don't know how to pronounce that. And it's just a fleece vest. Here is the tag. And it looks like it's probably an extra large, but I'm not positive on that one. This should be able to go for anywhere from 40 to $50 though. So I'm really excited about that. This guy had crazy amounts of money and stuff. I literally, I, I ran out of space on my SD card because I forgot to delete previous footage on it before we went in. And I didn't realize that it had stopped recording until we had gotten through like the second building. And there were four different buildings, including the house that we actually went to. So the boots that I'm gonna show you, you didn't see because my camera stopped <laughs> before we got to the last two buildings. So anyway, uh, next item is another REI jacket. This one's an extra large, has the hood, and with the visor that has kind of a boning piece right here to keep you out of the rain. And this is more of a uh, slicker kind of one, a little bit thinner material. Okay, one last clothing piece. And I don't think you guys saw me pick this one up. I'm not sure what happened there. I had no problem paying $13 for this one because it was vintage Christian Dior. Pretty cool. And it says one size, but seriously, when it says one size, it's kind of ridiculous unless it's like a poncho. And this is not one size. So it's a vintage men's, it's like from the 70s or something. Look at that. Seriously, has the sash and everything. And then it even has two different loops depending on where your waist is at. That's such a good idea. Why don't they do that with all of them? So this one, when I looked it up online, it should be going for anywhere from 50 to $70. So we will see what I can end up getting out of this piece. I've never gotten Christian Dior before, so I'm super excited. Okay. The next pieces are boots that I found in two of the barn outbuildings. Okay, the first one. Now I have two pairs that are exactly the same for the most part, um, with the exception of a little bit of scuffing here and there. These ones do need some dusting and they had some like seed and stuff on the inside of them. So I like turned it over to look at them and it just dumped out. <laughs> because it had seed just going inside it, I guess. But these are red wing boots. So you'll be able to see that by this little red wing right there. That's the tag. And these are size 10 and a half. They are full leather. And these will most likely get me more than $100. Some of these are selling for around 185, I think. And I don't think these were ever even worn. The tread doesn't look like it has anywhere whatsoever. So basically they just need to be cleaned up and polished or use the Wonder Balsam from Doc Martens. Okay, so that's the first one. And the funny thing is it says 25. They gave these to me for $15 because it had all the seed and stuff inside it. It does have the other lace that's in here. So because it had all of that seed and crap in it, and this one's got some scuffing on the toe, even though it hasn't been worn, um, I asked them, hey, will you take 15? And the guy was good with that. So they gave them to me for 15. Then there was a second pair in the other outbuilding. And however, these ones said $50. And I was like, uh, mm-mm, because -mm. These have more scuffing and stuff on them than the other pair does, but they wanted twice as much. I was like, no, no, no. So I went ahead and asked them um, when I went up to pay, I said, hey, I have the exact same pair. I got it from the last building. They only charged me 15 bucks. Would you be willing to go down from what you're asking? Cause these are exactly the same, just a little bit of scuffing. I don't think they were ever even worn. I think it was just them being moved around and scuffed that way, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so they told me that they would 
do $35 for that pair and these red wings. These are like super cool. They're kind of like chugas. So it says red wing right there on the side. It doesn't show it on the inside though. And they do have, what's interesting is these uh, like little inserts right there for like your instep. I thought that was kind of cool. But these are great. These are also a 10 and a half and they are great leather. They're getting a little beautiful after I get them cleaned up. They do seem to have like a tiny bit of heel drag right here, but that's pretty much it. So I got, I paid 35 bucks for this pair in the last pair. So pretty freaking awesome. And these should go for me for over a hundred dollars also. So I have the potential to make between three and $500 on just these three pairs of boots. I'm not sure about some of the other stuff, but these boots are what made the entire trip because it was an hour to drive there and an hour to drive back. Thankfully, we have a very economical car. So anyway, if you guys like these kind of hauls, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. My channel is growing by leaps and bounds recently. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming on over and I will see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.